he was doing it for both of them this yesterday afternoon today. Okay, something ought to work there. This is Francis's gutted house that's going to go zero energy and dual broadband, coaxial and Ethernet and everything. Francis met all here. This is our experimental like house. house. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's next door to her old house, which is right there. And now we're going to go inside and see the status it is right now. They're pulling electrical and Ethernet and coax cable all at once. This will be a kitchen. Uh huh. Get a little shot of our man Bruce. Oh, definitely. There's Bruce doing all the pulling. <laughs> all the brainwork too, man. Here's this really Here's fancy fireplace like with the. You know what? Because this has automatic light adjustment. You can even see a little bit of the embed, embedded carvings in there. Cool. So, is that nice or what? That's a very neat camera. Yeah. It's getting audio too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'll, I'll be nice. I <laughs> you can say nasty stuff. stuff. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <sighs> so in here is the kitchen. Yeah. Here's the kitchen. Yeah. Here is what we call the study. Yeah. Uh huh. We don't call it a bedroom. Okay. Because. Oh, I see. So you're, yeah. yeah. And, and what distinguishes a bedroom? From yeah, are you? Okay. Presence of a closet. Which closet. Oh, so say, say. So it's not called a closet. Semantics is everything in this business, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. But well, Bruce is the, the all-time genius at making the inspectors happy. At least I think he is. He sure talks a good game. Right? Good. But his 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 belief is, you get the kitchen right for the inspectors. You know, dot every I, cross every T, and you know, then I'll take too much of a close look at other stuff. Right. Works right. for me. <laughs> so the basement now, they're pulling cable down there, and that's where. Uh, is it okay if we get in there without getting in their way? So I can show the yeah. radiant. I mean, you can't see a lot of the radiant heat stuff from a water heater. But you can hear it. That that's right. It's sound that's it. Man, I can feel it too. It's like my feet are warm already. Oh, Can you imagine man. doing that in the winter? Oh man. It just feels so good. This hot water heater is dedicated just to the radiant heat. It's not providing the hot water. And it has uh, black hole in it. Or 50 50. Yep. But it ain't for drinking. We're not yep. drinking that stuff yep. and we're not taking baths in it. Don't no. touch it. Don't touch it. No. Okay, so here's the basement. There you go. All right. Four workstations for that will have uh, high speed internet access. But they, have they pulled the, the is this the cable right here? No, that's they electrical. Pulled it oh, that's electrical. Okay, I thought they hadn't They're done that. But, and wow. They're getting They just started about half an hour ago. Oh man. They're really doing it fast. Wow. I'm telling you. Good. You got to deal with them where they were just going to do the two hour number for whatever broadband cable they could pull. That's that's we'll pretty cool. That we'll see how it works. Yeah. I'm going to owe him some more money, but yep. he's been fair. Don't worry. Well, okay, upstairs. Oh, sure. Now, this, this staircase that you just walked up. Yes. Uh, it was there before, but it, but Mark Reed did it. Yes. I'm, a, I'm on it. What? Access points. It's kind of immaterial. If two things are easier to do than anything else. But this is so easy. Well, uh. But my gut feeling, my gut reaction to our best news is that workstation and that. Sure. Okay? Okay. Okay, let me pour a little water. So we'll do this one, be in the north here. Okay. Cool. So back to this story about the staircase here. Um, this staircase is Mark's redoing of it because the old one was pretty crappy. But the really interesting part of the story is up above us, about just above our heads, was another staircase. Yeah, I see the remnants of what once was, you know. And um, it was really beat up and messed up and had been, its space had been encroached upon by a um, couple of closets, by a a laundry chute, and it was the stairs were way too shallow. It was just not adequate. So 
Right. It had to go, and we don't need it because we have a, a main staircase over here. Aha. Uh -huh. So then that's when uh, Mark said, Francis, that's okay. <laughs> we have to have an architect. Said, it's okay. <laughs> okay. And our good buddy, who is a Green Party member named um, John Deneen, uh -huh. came and drew these plans up so that... Now, is this here the bathroom where the flooring was so unstable that people couldn't even use it? Is that that's the one right here? So it was about to crash be. through. Man, oh man! Yeah, it was unbelievable. So John Deneen drew these these plans up. Excellent. And um, he's he's just got a good eye for stuff, and he made the city the city people happy who had yeah. to give the the uh, uh, subcontractors their yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, oh, permit. Permit, yeah, um, okay. Um, and then this little drawing he made has a, a little element in it that I think I'm going to use, but we haven't quite figured out how yet. It's kind of something that looks like an R right there. Right. Oh, man. It'll be just really pretty, I oh, think. Oh, man. So, uh, but the main thing is, you know, for seriously load bearing uh, Joyce engineer. Members there. Right. Joyce, are we well, jo Joyce may be only they're horizontal. I, what? They're not Joyce, they're columns. Right, because Joyce are only horizontal, right? Or whatever. I, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but these babies are sitting, each of them are sitting on, uh, I believe it's, it's, it's a concrete pier, and I believe it's 24 inches deep. Wow. Which wow. is stable. Wow. Hurricane or tornado hits Omaha. You want to be in my basement. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but that's Best not in happen. town, right. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> but those concrete piers, guess what, are thermal mass. There you go. Yes. Once more. Once more. For zero energy goal. And All right. Speaking of thermal mass, this old fireplace uh, has a, a really old and nice looking, at least I thought it was nice looking, chimney on the outside. Right. But that chimney. Um, it, it's a thermal bridge the way it exists now. Right. So what has to be done is I have to find the right contractor to put insulation on the outside of the chimney, clear up to the top. It's yeah. a special kind of insulation called EIFS or IFS. IFS, okay. Yeah. External insulation FS? Finishing the... system. I think. Hey, hey, all yeah, right. I guess Google kind it. of right. So. And in theory, you'd find a local contractor, but <laughs> try yeah. getting one to come over. <laughs> right, right. So, um, let's go upstairs. Yay. Second floor, which was had some rooms that were in kind of odd places in some ways, but some of them made sense to leave the way they were. Uh huh. Um, so we just kind of tore out this wall that was here. Right. Kind of tore out. We tore it out. <laughs> Only I didn't tear it. Um, yeah, you can't kind of. <laughs> it is, <there> it is. <laughs> it's gone. Yep. Um, and this is now um, a common area for people who share the upstairs. And are these two over here going to be officially called bedrooms according to the plat? Yes, they yeah. are. Okay, right. This one and this one over here. Right. Those are bedrooms and they got closets. Right. This, this is a bathroom. Oh, that's right. Okay, this one over here. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that. that. that cause you, was in some trouble this one too. was where you had this venting system kind of that goes up that's and right. down that you showed me. Right. This vent, Mark did some extra special work to make it communicate with the air at, on the floor of the basement. So yep. on a very hot summer day, if um, it was hotter oh, outside than in, than in the Bruce house. Mark Bruce is yelling at me, so I better go. And in fact, we're hitting the uh, limit of the YouTube thing, so I got to... Bye-bye!